What's up, superstars? On today's video, we're gonna be covering the best and easiest way to remove a white background on your artwork. This includes fixing low quality artwork with pixelated edges. It's super easy, so let's get started and be sure to bookmark this for future reference. We're also gonna be trying something new, so if you wanna follow along with us, we'll be providing the raw images for you to download. So check out the description below. Briefly before we get started, here are some also artwork tips to get the best quality transfers. First off, if you're sending artwork to your printer, make sure it it is a high quality vector image. We recommend 300 DPI for the best results. Make sure you or your graphic designer is creating your artwork in CMYK color profile to get the closest color of your design. And lastly, transparent files are recommended so you don't print the box around the image. If you need us to check out your artwork or give suggestions, feel free to email or just submit your order on our website and get a quote today. We offer various artwork services. Now, let's get into the tutorial. Create a solid color and place it below the artwork. This will be our background. Click on the artwork layer and choose Magic Wand Tool from the toolbar. Set tolerance to 10 and check contiguous. Click on the white background to make a selection. Hold Alt key or the Option key and click Add Layer Mask button. This creates a negative mask. To fix the edges, with the mask selected, go to Filter, Other, then Minimum. Set preserve to roundness and slowly and gradually increase the radius until it goes away. Hit OK. Double click on the color fill layer and change colors to check if there's still white edges on the artwork. Once satisfied, hide the color fill layer and you're done. Our prints are ready to roll, but before we dive in, if you are on the lookout for a trustworthy DTF supplier or your current one falls short, check out the link in the description. We excel in creating custom DTF transfers for clothing and UV stickers for multiple surfaces. Our focus is on providing dependable service, top-notch quality, speedy delivery, and a wide array of vivid colors. Come check us out. All right, well, first let's check this out, okay guys? So for the first one, as you can really see, it's like the quality is very like blurry. It's not looking at its best and it has this big white box compared to this one. It is very high quality. You could see everything and it is also transparent. So this is going to print out a lot better onto a shirt other than this one. For shirt, since we're not going to be giving this away, we are just going to be using a tester shirt. That's why it is inside out. We're really just trying to test out the quality of our prints. So let's get started. For a heat press, we got our Heatmaster Prisma 16 by 20 layout, 10 inch pullout. Makes this job as easy as it gets. And you could also thread the shirt. So. Let's get started. Since we are not caring about placement, we are just gonna slap it on there and press. We recommend 40 pounds worth of pressure is the minimum. Wait 15 seconds. Repeal. I'm gonna press it one more time. Everything looks good. I'm looking closer into it, seeing those fabric lines right here. It definitely got embedded perfectly on the shirt. Yeah, everything looks good. It definitely looks a lot better what you would get from here. But yeah, turned out great. All right, 
Thank you guys for watching everyone. Today we covered how to effortlessly remove backgrounds and improve low quality artwork. I hope this tutorial was useful. Be sure to bookmark it for future reference as we strive to elevate your DTF experience. That's all from me for now. Your support is incredibly valuable to us. So if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like and subscribe for more tutorials. See you guys next time.